this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Default! Let's continue through the Grand Mill Works here. Now, remember where I started this episode, viewers? Because I'm going to come back there off-screen. There's just some treasure along this path, but otherwise, it's a dead end. So, yeah, we'll just come back straight the way we came. Okay, let's see. The lower path leads to a dead end, but I just want to fill out this path on the map there. Let's see. Also, after that last battle there, let's see. We got... Oh, it's not here. Where is it? Ah, damage dispersion, which, well, it does what it says it does. Any damage that she receives, some of it is going to go to the other party members. So that can be pretty useful when I've got, you know, three melee, atta or melee attackers and just the one mage who can be a little squishy at times. All right, and here we got the last new enemy there on the left there. Let's see, Merchantry Mage. But otherwise, yeah, nothing really special about them. So let's see what we can do here. Let's get back to the the thief snipe there. Oh, no, I need to uh, brave a whole bunch of times. Uh, they are not weak to thunder. Only the Merchantry Blade is, as far as all those humanoid units go. And let's see, okay, let's examine that, and then I want to do a send uh, move for the, what is it, for the tutorial quest, that is. So let's see, let's just spread out our damage just a little bit, and then I'll have Adia do the summon friend. So to send a move to, well, another player, just go to summon friend, send... And what are we going to do? Yeah, let's just go with a good stomp there. And hopefully that'll work. The Merchantry Mage is the last new random enemy around here. Okay, so hopefully that'll fulfill the condition for the tutorial quest. Flawless victory. Okay, well, it did something. Not entirely sure what, but hey, all right. So, all right, that's all the tutorial quests we have for a little while, at least. So, let's keep on going here. Hmm, you know, I don't know which way I'm supposed to go here. Okay, let's see. Let's go this way. Ah, there it is. Yeah, if you just sit around on the exploration map for a while, the map will zoom out and so you can get a better view of well where else you could go kind of like the psych spell in final fantasy 4 or depending on your translation but well there we get an earthing rod i think that gives you status protection from paralysis and thumbing claws i think those can inflict blind on an enemy but otherwise i never use them really so okay and we got another blue chest that we can't get but that's all we can do here. I will meet you back by the save point area. Okay, we're back by the save point, the adventurer there. Now, in order to get to the end of this dungeon, we've got a couple of these levers there. And, well, we got the one there, but you notice it didn't open the door. That's because we got to flip another switch later on in the dungeon. Once you flip both of them, then you can get through to the end. Uh, let's see, after, well, on the way back, we also learned a new ability, Hidden Dragon, which is basically the same damage as Stomp, but instead of losing defense or magic defense, the attack only happens at the end of the round. So that can be pretty useful, like during boss fights, when you are you don't want to have that damage deep or that defense debuff on you. Not so much during random battles, though, because you're going to win those in one round anyway. Or at least that's the general idea there. But alright, let's continue onward from here then. There's going to be a lot of attack abilities that seem to have the same amount of damage, but each of them is going to have like a different drawback to them. So you use them depending on the situation. Let's see, I don't think there's any hidden 
treasures around here, at least not to my knowledge. And by the way, at this point, I'm having, I'm equipped Tiz with the Isunokami, and I'm starting to have him default to build up his uh, special move for those, because you got to default five times with katanas in order to, well, make that happen. I'm not worried about Tiz stealing from the regular enemies around here. Most of them just have potions for you to steal anyway. I mean, those are nice to have and all, especially for compounding. But once you're getting close to the end of the dungeon, you want to cut out the stealing, start building up the uh, special moves. Okay, well, that's everything we can do here. I will meet you back by the adventurer on the other side there. Okay, we're back, and yeah, we're, well, yeah, you saw we flipped the lever there, and we're ready to move on. Well, almost ready. I need to, uh, well, let's change some things around. Let's see, we're going to want the white mage back in action there, but otherwise I'm going to leave her on the rods for now, so she can use her special move there that I've already built up. Let's see, okay, so for Tiz, you will remain the same. Agnes, let's see. Now, I do want a bait fire here, and let's go with damage dispersion. We've got some fire elemental damage to deal with, and I want to keep my healer in action. Let's see, otherwise, yeah, I think we're looking good there. Let me let me see the uh, secondary commands. Yeah, that, that should be pretty good. I'm not too worried about Tiz there. Hmm. I'm thinking if I want to give him chivalry for... No, he's got life thief. Well, Chivalry does deal more damage, but I like Life Thief better for the HP draining when I need it. So we'll be fine there. Okay, and as far as equipment there, do not change the weapon, H.C. Bailey. Okay, let's see. How are we looking there on agility? Hmm. Let's give you the Ken Pogi, and I want to give the Mithril Plate to Tiz to give him a little extra defense. He doesn't need the extra agility at this point anyway. Okay, stay on the weapons for now, but eventually I will change those. I still want her on the white cape for silence protection. Let's see, ring a bell, I think, remains the same as always. And let's see, Adia, who I also got the special move built up for her too, because uh, the way it works is she for Knuckles, you have to deal, I think it's three critical hits with her weapon so we've got all that built up and ready to go let's see as far as elements go i don't really care about elemental damage to attach to my abilities here there's no elemental weaknesses to exploit so i think we'll be fine so let's see what well the king is up to around here we, if you recall, we got a note when we defeated the Profiteur about well, something going on at the Grand Mill Works at night time. And, well, that's the only time you can actually get into this place. I don't know why the guard suddenly left the front door wide open, but okay. Hmm. Well, this is where the throne room is, but now we're on the upper balcony. So let's see what's going on. This, this is the royal palace. Well, gee, you think? Shh, someone's coming. What's going on here? Blast it! Blast it! Blast it all! Calm down. How do you expect me to be calm? Well, you're still king. This is all the fault of that girl! From the moment the vessel returned, every cog in my plans is spun out of place. Nuts. And the merchantry. That incompetent profiteer's failures threatened to bring everything crashing down. Well, what more do you want? You have absolute power here. And after the lengths I went to in giving him all he could possibly need. And for what? A net negative. Well, maybe you should consider your investments more carefully. 
time and again, that oil slick little rat assured me all was going to plan. And like a fool, I trusted him with everything. With claiming the wells, inflating the price of water, that bungled arrangement with the thieves, I gave the merchantry free reign. The plan was sound. Have the merchantry cut off the water supply, eroding the people's resolve. And their lives. Mandate heavy labor. For the good of the kingdom, of course. To sow further dissent. Ansheim was a powder keg. That doesn't exactly sound like the best plan. Wouldn't they just revolt? Any spark would do. Some trifling grievance to turn the brunt of all that build-up frustration on the Vestal. So that was your plan all along! The Orthodoxy's lingering hold on the people's hearts and minds would be broken, and the age of anti-crystallism would begin. That... does... Uh, yeah! <laughs> As well it must! The unwashed masses' superstitious love of the crystals is an iron weight holding mankind back from true progress. Well, we kind of need clean air to breathe. I, I don't know. Call me crazy, but I think that's a good idea to uh, get the crystals back in action. Only by dashing to the ground their faith in these stones and the vestals can my vision for Ansheim's advancement be realized. And what kind of advancement is that? Your own greed? A glorious new era is right before our eyes. It was so nearly within reach, and now my plan is ruined. Ha uh ha. -huh. Why, Kent? How has this happened? Now the rabble will listen to none but the Vestal. Oh, it's a complete disaster. Well, we we're just about to leave your kingdom. I should never have relied on an ignoramus like Profiteur. My plan was perfect. That reliance on your scheming was the reason it failed. Meanwhile, the Vestal speaks without a thought in her head. There's your why. Your lips are moving, but you're not saying anything. The question was rhetorical, Veldenza! <laughs> but very well. If Finesse has failed, so be it. I'll kill the girl and lay claim to the crystal. <laughs> Well, it is already in your territory, isn't it? With that done, the winds will be at my fingertips. I can power the turbines or control the miasma as I see fit. Your Highness is ever the optimist. Are you so confident this new plan will fare better, Time Mage? He's a mage? It must! The people must be shown that the Vestal has no place in my new reign! Or in the future of Ansheim! Unacceptable! Please disgrace your crown no further! What the? It's not much of a crown you got there! What? This isn't... How are you here? Well, we... Put one foot in front of the other and move! Regardless, I am here. I heard everything. Seems this scandal goes all the way up. Well, yeah, we kind of noticed that it was on the name of the merchant tree. I knew you were an unpleasant man, but this is outright evil. So, what are you going to do about it? For a king to wish suffering on his own people? This cannot stand! Well, it's about to. Huh. And just... Just what did you supposedly hear? What new slander is this? You're a poor actor, King. You have some proof, then? Some evidence to show that I made these comments? Ha! Well, we were kind of there. He's like a child caught in a lie. <laughs> no! Of course, no such proof exists. I know you lot are plotting to tear me from the throne, but it won't work. It won't. As it happens, we do have proof. But I don't expect we'll have need of it. Yeah, I'm sure pretty much everyone else would just believe us now anyway. Ask yourself this. Given your word against the Vestals, which do you think the people will believe? 
Well, they won't believe her if she's dead. Have you no shame? No sense of duty to those you rule? I thought that was evident from the beginning. You! You! This is all you're doing, Vestal. If you weren't here, none of this would. Yes! You can't be here any longer. Can't be anywhere, in fact. Your final silence will be the fanfare that heralds my renewed reign. Well, it's a good thing I got a white cape equipped. It seems the man's beyond remorse. Evidently. Spell Fencer Sigma Kent. Name your price. Empty the kingdom's coffers if you like. Whatever it takes, I want these vermin dead. What coffers? I pick my clients for their pocketbooks, not their moral fiber. I'll not grow scruples now. Well, at least Kent is consistent. You have a deal, King. For as long as your riches hold. I think his riches will hold not for not very long, or not much longer. For boss time against the Time Mage and Spell Fencer. Okay, first things first. Let's uh, examine the new guy, Cameron there. And I want to have everyone else default there. Now, with Cameron, what he can do is the only interesting things he can really do. Ow! Uh, he can use Earth Elemental spells on you. So you want to watch out for that. Now, I've got the Isinokami equipped on Tiz there, so I don't want to use the... What's that other thing? I don't want to use... Uh, the Thief's Knife. And then... Ow. Yeah, because if I use the Thief's Knife, then... I would lose my special move, which I want to save for later, eventually. Let's see, how are we doing here? Hmm. Let's wait. Hmm. No, you know what? Let's go now. Let's go with Cure on everyone. That ought to top everyone off there. And let's see. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for, well, no, let's just do two. Let's do one Cure, and then we'll do one special move with the Piercing Bolt on camera. I want to uh, take him out first. Because I think he can also inflict the stop status on you. So you want to watch out for that. Unfortunately, we have no way of curing it. Or... Uh, what is it? We can't cure or prevent it at this point, unfortunately. But, okay, so we got good there. Let's see. Okay, I just want to get one more item from Cammer if I can. And let's see, let's go with our new special move there. And let's see, I'm going to use Hidden Dragon for the remaining hits there. I don't care whether she goes first or last. Ha ha! I got it! Yeah, unfortunately, since these guys don't have... Ah, there's the stop status. Wow, that is really really bad timing, both literally and figuratively, on the stop status there, because now my hidden dragons don't happen! Oh, now I just need two cures. Okay, so let's go cure... Actually, you know what? Let's equip the staves now. Let's go Mithril Staff. And where's my shield? Yeah, let's just go with something, anything there. That ought to help us out the rest of the way. Oops, no. Now, let's go with our hack and slash and some stomps. Unfortunately, even uh, remedies cannot cure the stop status. Here I come! Ah, that's more like it! Now, if I can just get the stop status to wear off, which it does wear off eventually. I just can't cure it. Okay, you are still stopped. So, how about... Hmm. Let's go Steel and the Life Thief on camera there. Okay, well, we got the one item. That's good. Both of them have two items that I would like to get, if I can. Okay, let's see. You are still stopped. So let's go one more round. Ow. 
Okay, now let's go with Moon Shadow. And let's see, let's go with a few Life Thieves on camera there. Okay, then let's see, let's go Cure. Just that on everyone. And then I'll... Yeah, we'll go like that. And hopefully I'll be able to finish off Cammer in the next round. Yeah, we almost got him. I, we might get him this round at that rate. Wow, with all those uh, attack buffs that I've got there... Well, then we'll take it from you. But yeah, I didn't realize all those attack buffs would be so great. Okay, so let's see. Let's get two cures. Yeah, we do want one on all allies, and then one on Tiz there. Okay, let's go with a few hidden dragons there. I still want to steal one more item from Kent. So, we'll see what we can do there. How are you doing? Well, yeah, let's not really worry about that. Yeah, let's just defend for now. Ow. Okay, how about we go with this? Uh, let's go. Yeah, just a few steals. And then cure. And then, as long as no one dies... I should be able to finish him off. There we go, the scimitar. Oh, yeah. You might have noticed with Kent there, he's not running away this time. Yeah, unlike the previous boss fight, boss fights with him, yeah, he's not going to be running away. You know, let's examine him so I can see what his... HP is... Okay, we've almost got him. Ow. Okay, so once we get Tiz back up to a decent amount of uh, BP, then we can uh, just unleash everything. Okay. So, let's see. You go with... Oh! Yeah, we learned a new ability, Shield Strike, but its damage is pretty bad from what I've seen. So, yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. What? You aren't running this time? A contract is a contract. And many's the coin I earned under the King's auspices. Mm. It's not in my nature, but I'm prepared to die for this one. Yeah, like all the other asterisks, fight. As you wish! Okay, I think we can uh, finish him off this time. And let's see, let's go switch to offense here. Let's see, let's get both Ogre's Club. Or No, let's actually go with the... What was that other one? Let's go with the Mithril Rod there. And then... Quadruple Thunder. Oh, no, I didn't, uh, brave enough. He's not weak to thunder, but that's the only element, the elemental damage that I can actually boost. And this time, I'm just gonna go with stomp, because I want to be able to kill him before he can attack again. But otherwise, I think that'll be good. should be my end. My goal is met. I've no reason to earn another coin. No reason. Well, I thought you were prepared to die, but okay. Yeah, I'm gonna miss Kent. He's almost respectable compared to all the other villains we've met so far. But alright! Wow, we got a lot of JP in this one. Nice.
And we're going to get a couple more job classes. Let's see, Spell Fencer is really useful. It's basically the same thing as Four Heroes of Light, or the Mystic Knight, or Magic Knight, or whatever in the Final Fantasy games. You imbue an element or a status effect onto your weapon with magic, and then you deal more damage if they exploit, like, a weakness or whatever. Or you just inflict the status on them. And the, the nice, the really nice thing about Spell Fencer is that it has a lot more agility than a regular knight. I'm not going to use it right away, but I will use it soon enough. And Time Mage has some uses too. For, well, the Time Magic you can learn. I see. I regret my failure to see through his med... The former king's misdeeds. It seems the people of Ansheim are once more in your debt, Lady Vestal. On their behalf, I thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Just another day at the office. Where will the kingdom go from here? How will it function in the absence of its king? Yeah, I was about to ask, who's going to be in charge now? I will take up the mantle of governance for the time being, though that is no lasting solution. Ansheim will have to change. With luck, it will become a land led by its people for the benefit of all. What is certain is that it will ever be a welcome home to you and your companions, Lady Vestal. We will pray for your safe journey. Go, and bring your light to all the world. Well, we're working on it, but yeah, thanks for your support. What, no party talk? I'm disappointed, game. But alright, so now that we got Time Mage, it would be a good idea to, well, buy the Time Magic associated with it. Let's see, slow I use every now and then, like if there's a, what is it, a faster boss to, that we have to deal with, it reduces their agility, and Quake is useful just for, well, Earth Elemental damage. I'm not sure why Quake is time, is a Time Magic spell, but... Okay, I don't think it really has anything to do with time. But alright, okay, so now we're almost done with the chapter here. So let's update data. See what we can do. Maybe get some more friends to join the village. And I'm going to be leaving the... Uh, what is it? Leaving my 3DS in standby or sleep mode, so I can grow the village quite a bit again. All right, quite a few more friends. Okay, so now let's get into the village and see what we can do here. Wow, quite a few more nemeses. Oh, nice. Not that I'm extraordinarily concerned about the item shop, but it's there. Let's leave one there for now. How are we doing on the armor shop? Okay, so basically what I want to do to grow my village from here, or Narende, is I want to get the armor shop up to level 6 eventually. So we'll deal with that there. Let's see, the weapon shop, I want to get up to level 5. Let's see. Yeah, I do want to get this, the hill part shop up to level 3 to get lightning. Th that's Those are my major concerns there. I do want to get the combat item shop up to level 3. And everything else is just gravy. So, let's see what we got here. Okay, so let's put a few there. And how many do we got there? Okay, 3 and 3. Yeah, because I want to... Cross that bridge. Actually, yeah, let's just put another one there. We'll go with that for now. And, yeah, I want to eventually reach the compound shop there. I don't really need it until, like, the middle of Chapter 3, but I just want to get it unlocked so I can put, like, one villager on it in order to just get something going. But, yeah, once I get the weapon and armor shop up to their respective levels, I'm just going to remove all the villagers from them because I don't really need anything more from them for a very long time and then I'll be focusing mostly on the special move shop there although I'll probably just leave like maybe one villager on the weapon and armor shop there but 
Well, I'll just mix things around as I see fit. What do we got there? Uh, yeah, I don't really care about that part shop, but it's there. It's something that I'll eventually do. Eventually, I want to max out the town completely. Not that it's a big deal, but it's there, so we might as well, and we'll eventually get things set up there. But how are we going to get to the land of Florum now? Find out next time on Chapter 2 of Let's Play Bravely Default. This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!